Welcome to my three-car garage. This is where I park my truck. And I'm kidding. If you know me, you know that I'm kidding. <laughs> so, putting humor aside, today I am painting at 66 Oxbow Road in Concord, Massachusetts. Historical Concord, Massachusetts. And this home has been sold, but I am here today because I have to do some touch-ups. So I figured I'll start the video giving you a shot of where I enter uh, in order to do my work. I will switch the camera around and I'll show you guys uh, what's going on in here. And I will also share with you this beautiful home that I'm working at today. Okay, so we'll just move the camera around and you'll get to see what I'm going to see. And I'll explain to you um, what rooms are for what. One thing I will tell you, it's wonderful to dream. But along with dreams, you have to set goals. You can't just dream just for dreaming. If you want something, you have to go get it. If you want to go get it, you have to get a plan in place in order to achieve that goal to get what you want to get. This home is something that I wish I would have. And someday I will have it. It's just that right now I'm still working at that plan in order to get something like this. I already had one home. Uh, and unfortunately, as many of you know, I fell off a two-story roof. And it took me 14 months to recover. I, t I totally destroyed my right leg, and I destroyed the arm that's actually holding the camera. But by the grace of God, and this is why in most of my videos I say, God bless you, because I wish you well. Uh, we take a lot of things for granted. Life can be gone in a heartbeat, a twink of an eye. Um, and we, we need to appreciate a lot of things and in my case I appreciate a lot of things and I, I I really sincerely care about people because how I conduct myself will reflect and will be an example for other people we have gotten off the topic which is this house and I said that I had a home <clears throat> and I'm in the pursuit of another home but let me just share what I do as a painter, and I'll show you what it is that I'm doing inside. Okay, we'll turn around. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the entrance right off the, uh, right off the uh, garage. As you park your car, you come in, and this is what you see. This is your receiving area. This is the mudroom. It's a very nice mudroom, by the way, I should say. Off to the right here, you have a nice French door leading to the outside. You come over and you place your coat right in the coat rack. This is great, great feature. Looking off to the right here, obviously you can put things down right here. Okay, you may want to put your cell phone, your, your keys, things you may bring in. Right off to the left here, this would be considered probably a miscellaneous closet. I'll, I'll pull back so you guys can see. Miscellaneous, just to put things in there, store things, you know. Off to the right of that closet, we have a full bath. This is pretty nice too, nice feature. If you have workers in the house, you can designate one bathroom for the workers to use. This happens to be a full a uh, full bath it has its own shower. Beautiful feature. You have somewhere to sit. And also you have the detached shower head as well as the regular shower head. That's a great feature, huh? It's great. Okay, we'll pull out of this room. Off in this room here, I guess I could call it. Uh, the homeowner is probably going to make it whatever he wants or she wants. To me, it seems that it could be like an office, okay? It looks like an office. It doesn't have a closet, so obviously it's not a bedroom. 
but I see outlets, and this is an awesome feature also. And I'm going to be talking about a lot about features. You have outlets. The outlets are on the base or in the base, which is great. It's not in the wall. It's in the base. I like that feature. Okay. A lot of natural lighting coming in from the backyard through these windows. And you have another set of French doors. And these French doors, as you see, they lead out to a nice, beautiful deck. I'll give you a shot of the deck. That's a beautiful, beautiful deck. Nice handrails. Low maintenance, by the way. And uh, I, as, as I have been informed, uh, the material in this decking is called Azac. And Azac is a plastic composite. It's long lasting and it has the impression of wood on the Azac itself. This system here, you don't see any screws. What you see is an interlocking system that locks in to brackets underneath. Okay, so let's, let's move on. Quickly, this is going to be a long-winded uh, uh, <laughs> video. Okay, here's the kitchen. Something that really stands out is obviously you got a nice microwave. It's a nice microwave. Okay, we also have an oven. Well, let's see how many cookies can we cook there? <laughs> huh? My favorite chocolate chip cookies with morsels and nuts. I love that. Look at this backsplash. And we have lighting underneath the cabinetry. I love this. Look at this stove. Six burners. Do you have enough burners? I mean, how much can you cook? You can cook for an army here. Okay, down below. You could probably bake three pizzas at once. Full-size pizzas, by the way. Yes. I'm liking that. How's this? Lighting? Is that nice or what? Look. Bright. Dim. Anyways. Another feature. We're going to be talking about features. Look at this, huh? But what I really like is how it closes. By itself. No slamming ever again. And your wife or your girlfriend or your mate or your partner cannot get mad at you and start slamming things because these things do not slam. <laughs> you cannot get frustrated, get upset, and take it out on the cabinetry. A lot of people do this. Next thing you know, they start ruining things. This is a beautiful sink. I like this sink. Huh? Look at that fixture. Okay. Down here, we have... Well, the front has not been installed. I take it back. It's installed. It's just the paper. It's not been pulled off. That's to protect the stainless steel. That's your dishwasher. You have... Look at this, huh? I want to put some wine inside this little refrigerator. Chill things. Look at that. I like it. I like that. Drawers. Let's see. Let's snoop around. Oh my god. Somebody left their chips there. <laughs> Anyways. So we have all kinds of space here. The lighting. It's beautiful lighting here. Everything just flows. Okay. More windows. Another French door leading out to the deck from the kitchen so you can bring your food out for your picnic. This right here, this is like a, uh, I would say a living room where you can entertain your guests. Meanwhile, you're cooking, messing around in the kitchen. Okay. Uh, off to the right here, we have pocket doors. Oh, I like this. Pocket doors. They go right into the frame. Look at that. Huh? Oh, I failed to mention the fireplace. Nice gas fireplace. 
I like this. This is a great feature for every home. This right here, I'm assuming... See, again, I'm assuming because this is a multi-purpose room. This, this can be used for, for anything, basically. I mean, you could even put your office in here if you wanted. Uh, but I don't think they'll be using it for an office. This could be probably a formal, di a formal living room right here. And um, which is possible. could be used as a living room. Look at this front door. We did the stain job in this front door. That's a beautiful door. I like this door. Super size. That thing's got to be at least 40 inches wide. <laughs> you know? You can... Actually more. I'd say more. 48 inches. 4 feet wide. Off to the right. Here we have the formal dining room. And there's wainscoting throughout. Nice chair rail. I like this chandelier. It's beautiful. This right here, this is the front of the house and the outside. It's beautiful. Today, it looks sunny, but it's actually six degrees outside today. This is a cold day. It's probably one of the coldest days of the season. Okay. Here's the foyer with its chandelier. I'm going to show you. There's another... There's another staircase. This one branches over so you can take a shortcut to the uh, kitchen. Okay? So the kids can come down right through here. And we're actually going to go up this way. Because I want to show you the upstairs. The bedrooms. And we're going to start over at the other end and then we'll come back down to this end. Okay? Follow me all the way down to that one. That right there is a, it's probably a, a children's shared bathroom. And that's where I'm going to start. And from there I will branch out to the other, to the bedrooms, to either side. See? You have multiple children. They can share the sink, brush their teeth separately. No one has to wait. You have a nice stand-up shower, again, with a place to sit. You could actually wash two kids in there. Great feature. You have the shower head, and you also have another shower head that's detached. That's beautiful. Toilet. This is a child's, a child's uh, bathroom. Or it could be a guest bedroom, also. But anyways... Storage space right down here. I like this. Not bad. And there's a lot of space. I like the space in here. This is a closet. Each closet has their own features. You know, put your shoes there on the left. Hang your pants, your, your shirts down below. Okay. All right. Over here we have a room. This is not a bedroom, although you could probably put a bed in here, but this is more like a playroom. It has double doors. Kids can just take off and watch TV in here, play. The closet spaces are rather small, but you, this is great for toys. You know, you can, you can put things in bins, stack them up. Roll them around, bring them in, take them out, organize the place. It has a nice fan, nice feature. Open the windows instead of using the uh, air conditioner and get some natural air from outside. That's great. Here's another little closet to place uh, toys in. That's great. Okay, down the hallway we go. Here you have a, I would say this is probably like a linen closet. Great linen closet. Okay. So we're heading off to another bedroom over here on the right. I'll go right. And this one has its own bathroom. Nice size bathroom. They have storage spaces underneath. 
That's great also. It's tiled. It's great. Put things in bins and you can use it for storage. You have some natural lighting coming in from that window there. There's another shower. In this case, I'm going to open the shower so you can see inside. I love the tile. Everything flows, works well with the features that it has. Every bathroom has its own shower head and also the detached shower head. Glass door. All right. Off we go. So this is the bedroom. This is a fairly good sized bedroom. I'll show you the closet. The closet's pretty much the same. You could have four children and, and, and comfortably put them in their own little space. But this is great for a teenager also. You know? Okay. So we've looked at. This is the third bedroom. We saw a playroom. And this is the third bedroom. All the features are pretty much the same in each bedroom. Natural lighting. This one has its own bathroom. Look at that. These can be also used for as guest bedrooms, as you know. This is nice. This tub is more, I would say this is more a child's tub, without a doubt. Could be a child's tub. This one does not have that feature of a detached shower head, but that's okay. I believe this could be for a young child. Okay. We have bedrooms for every age. Off to the left here, this is the laundry room. Nice, huh? You have your own sink, you have a counter you can fold clothes on. Over here to the right, you could probably have another counter installed, a table, something that can be folded, and um, maybe uh, an ironing board. This is where you go up to the attic. It's actually closed right now. All right, they have a covering there, which is a you know separated. But that's how, that's how you get up to the attic. I have not seen it, but I believe it's fairly large. This right here is where the washer goes. Drained. And down here, obviously you know this is for gas. This is going to be gas. You have the option of having gas. Or electric. Good feature. Whatever moves you. This is a view of the back. This is the backyard. Fairly large for the town of Concord. That's 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 a plus. Concord is a it's a great it's an affluent area. A lot of wealthy people in Concord. Okay, guys, this is the master bedroom, and I like this. See the lighting on top. I'll shut the big lights off but you can see there's LED lighting up on the top above the crown that's a nice feature romantic to me that to me is very romantic puts you in the mood if you don't have enough children to fill this place well you can have that romance and work on filling it so this is the walk-in closet I like this Everything is, you know, everything is LED now. You don't have these old lights that light up immediately. These have to warm up. But anyways, it's a nice, nice closet. I love it. Shoes. Huh? I like that. That's for shoes. Okay. Up here. I like to hang things there. Look at that. Dresses. This is probably the woman's side over here, I think. And so is this one back here, because women have many shoes. I hear you, ladies. Gotta have the shoes. <laughs> but anyways, this is great. Hang your ties right here. This actually pulls out. 
See? Pulls out. I believe this one does too. Nope, that one's stationary. All right. So we're out of the closet. <laughs> and I'm going right into master bathroom. This is my favorite. And I'll explain why. By the way, this is all tiled. And it's heated. This floor is heated. How do you like that? Another, this is, this is one of my big ones. A toilet with a door. You can do your thing in privacy. Go potty in private. Okay? Now this tub is unbelievable. This is the first thing you see once you look in here. This thing is deep. Wow. How much water can you put in here? You could actually go for a swim. That's great, huh? I like that. So you have lighting. Get some curtains, obviously. Just looking out on the road. Looks cold out there. Towel warmer. Yeah, we like towel warmers. His and hers. Gotta have it. It's a plus. Gotta have it. Again, guys, throughout. Here's the cabinetry. This, this stuff closes by itself. All by itself. I'll show you something else. This is a great shower also. I like this. Let me move back so you guys can see it. So it's sort of open at the top. Get steamy in there. The steam can flow out. And then the fan up here will extract the steam if it gets too steamy. Great door. This is nice. I like this. There's only one thing. I would want more than more than one shower head. I want something flowing right from the ceiling. <laughs> like if I was in the Amazon jungle and getting rained on. But anyways, I like this. And I like the fact that it has somewhere, someone to sit. You know, probably a good feature would be to build in a sauna in there also. All right, so we're close. One last thing about the toilets. All of the toilets have this feature. Okay. And boys, every time you use the bathroom, you close the lid. You do your thing, close the lid. But look at it. Look at this. Closes by itself. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. It takes about 10 seconds for this thing to actually come down. Look at that. That's beautiful. Huh? I need one of those. That's great. I like it. Look at it. Finally. Clunk. 15 seconds. You can drive a Corvette faster than you can close a toilet lid. That's great. Well, so here we are. This is great. I like it. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll turn around here. You get to see me again. <laughs> I get the attention again. So, so this is what I do. Uh, Johnny LaSalle, the painter man from Marlboro, Massachusetts, owner of JL Paint and Designs. And um, today, I happen to be working at 66 Oxbow Road in Concord, Massachusetts. Historical Concord, Massachusetts. This is a nice place to live. You have to have some capital, but it's nice. School systems are great also. So, but would you expect any less? No. Because if you have the money to spend, you want to live in a nice place, and you also want more for, for that wealth. And Concord, Massachusetts is one of those places 
But what I love about Massachusetts is not only that it's Patriots country, but Massachusetts has a lot of warmth, has a lot of heart. I don't care what people say about the traffic out here. Um, not very many people are very forgiving. Uh, but we don't live like in New York City, always honking the horn every, every, at every intersection or every time you go by a car, you're honking the horn. You know, here we don't honk horns. The only, I think, bad habit that Massachusetts drivers have is the fact that they don't use the blinker. They don't use blinkers, you know. Gotta use your blinker. And um, I happen to use it because I like to let people know where I'm heading, you know. But that's a Massachusetts thing. But I have lived here for a long time, and it's a, it's a good place to live. There's employment for a lot of different people. Uh, painters get paid a good wage. It's not like Florida. You could be a 30-year experienced painter. You go to Florida, and you're only getting probably $15 tops, you know. Uh, here in Massachusetts, you can make as much working for the union. In the painters' union, you can work and earn probably now about $37 if you work in Zone 1, which is Boston. But painting has given me a good living, uh, and um, I'm able to support my family on a painter's living. I also snowplow. I'm also the owner of JL Snowplowing. Unfortunately, this season, I don't know what's happening with this season. I hope the Patriots win mega, uh, the Super Bowl, <laughs> you know, and bring some snow with that celebration. Yeah, we would like to win mega bucks too. So, well, guys, I leave you. God bless you. Thank you for uh, viewing my videos. Forgive me for anything wrong that I may have done, anything that may, may not have said right. And, um, God bless you, because it is a blessing to share what I do. Uh, I hope that it inspires other people, um, especially people who paint themselves or try, you know. Um, with time, I will be posting videos where I explain procedures and, and how to do certain things. You take care. I'll talk to you soon. All right. We'll turn around and end up with this backsplash.